Hey, good morning, Pirates. Um, hope you're having a great week. We're closing in on the end of this week. So, hey, what a great uh, great time to be a Missouri uh, Missourian. Uh, Royals World Series champs. The Chiefs are on their way to win a Super Bowl. Um, Mr. Oots won the Powerball. Oh, wait, that didn't happen. But uh, anyway, uh, here's what we're going to talk about today. i got about five, six things, so I'm going to cover them as quickly as I can. First and foremost, we've got activities and, and athletics going on all over the place. Get out there and support your Pirates. Um, the guys are in Carney tonight. The girls are at home. We've got wrestlers going to Park Hill, uh, you know, kind of a, a rivalry there. I believe we've got some 20th ranked team and the 44th ranked team, something like that. I saw it on Twitter, so a couple great teams. Get out there and support them. Um, debates, uh, rocking things, robotics. Uh, we've got chess club meeting tonight, so a lot of things going on. Check your calendars, ask your sponsors, ask your coaches, ask your teachers, where should I go tonight? Uh, find a place to go. Uh, counseling staff, they're enrolling juniors uh, for this month. Um, second month will be, uh, the month of February is gonna be sophomores. So uh, your guidance counselor is gonna be meeting with you, getting your schedules picked out, and uh, you're gonna be helping pick out your schedules. And uh, the spring parent-teacher conferences are going to be a little bit different this year. As opposed to the normal, we're going to sit down and talk to your teacher about how you're doing in that particular class. It's going to be more of an enrollment night. So you're going to sit down with your seminar teacher and really just enroll in your classes right then and there with your parents on a computer. Um, it's a new thing for us. It's, it's kind of a, a next step for what our counseling department's doing. Really proud of what's happening. Uh, Jostens is going to be back next Wednesday. So come get your rings, place any orders, pick up things. Um, seniors and, and all of the Justin E stuff. Uh, take care of that. Come see uh, Bob and Jeff. They're cool dudes. Number six is keeping PC cozy. Our um, counts. Our, our our cheer staff is is done an amazing job. What an opportunity for our community to to help out our community. Uh, it's it's been cold, guys. It's been cold outside. So if you don't have if you have jackets that you've got hanging around the house or sweatshirts or warm clothing or scarves or mittens or um, gloves, anything that could help somebody in need, bring them in. There's containers out front toward the Welcome Center. Miss Sutley can point you in the right direction if you don't know where those are at, though. Help somebody out. They adapt an attitude of service. I think that's brilliant. Um, last thing, uh, we'll end with middle school parking. Um, since we've opened up our new spots, we've we've had an opportunity to, to get most of all of our drivers on campus, which is incredible. However, we need to make sure we keep um, that area safe and when I talk about that that's our middle school students and our buses that are lining up there so um, Mr. Jones and I have been out there the last couple days maybe you've seen us and maybe you haven't um, observing how things are happening so as we make adjustments to that guys really honestly we just want to keep everybody safe we don't want any car car collisions we don't want any bus car collisions and most importantly we don't want any student car collisions and so I know you want to help us out for that so please please pay attention to what's going on over there um, as we make adjustments. Guys, uh, I can't tell you every day I wake up, I want to come here and be with you. So um, living the pirate life's a good one. Appreciate what you do. Thanks. Good morning, Pirates, and welcome to PCTV News. I'm Victoria Guerra. And I'm Sydney Edwards. So, Sydney, did you become a billionaire last night? I did it, and I was feeling lucky last night, so I'm a little upset. Oh, that really sucks. Well, Sorry. let's say you did win. What would you spend your money on? Well, I'd probably buy myself a car first because I thought I was going to get one for Christmas, but never did. So I'd buy myself a car, and then I'd probably go shopping. I have no shame. I would go shopping. That's and then fun. whatever I had left, I'd probably give it to Mal because, you know, she thought she was going to win last night. So oh. I'd give some to her. Good friend. Yeah. Senior boys, I'd be interested in the Senior Boys 2 to dance. Contact Lauren Leocardi, Kennedy Knox, or Mrs. Robbins. There will be yearbook pictures today in the North Gym from 1030 to 1130. There will be a Cyber Safety Assembly next, week, next Wednesday at 1.50. Also, if you're interested in the NCAPs for next year, there's another open house on January 20th at the Gladstone Community Center. There will be a PTSA meeting on the 28th at 6.30 in the South Commons. And seniors, don't forget to check the counseling website for more scholarship opportunities. Now let's send over to Mal for an update on sports and weather. Thanks, Sid. And Mr. Messick, you were close. We're ranked 29th and Park Hills ranked 44th in the nation. Also, the girls' basketball team plays at home tonight against Raytown South at 7. The boys' basketball team lost in double overtime to Northeast Tuesday night in the Kearney Tournament 61-58. to The boys will play today at 3.30 against Kansas City East Christian, K East Christian Academy. The tournament will continue tomorrow. The girls' swim team had a meet Tuesday and swim really well. The wrestling team beat Belton in their conference duel Tuesday night 
45 to 21. They have a big duel tonight at 6 at Park Hill, and they want pack stands, so make sure to go out and show your support. Also, anyone that is planning on trying out for baseball this spring needs to meet in Coach Davenport's room today after school for a short informational meeting. If you are currently participating in a winter sport, just stop by his room by the end of the day. And now for the weather. Today's high is a warmer 56 with some sun, and tonight will drop down to a low of 30. Tomorrow will be cloudy with a high of 32. That's all I have for sports and weather. Back to you, Victoria. Thanks, Mel. There's an NHS meeting for all members today after school in Mr. Jones' room. Donate your newer, gently used, warm clothing items or non-perishable food items to keep PC cozy into the bins by the Welcome Center until January 22nd. And remember, if you would like to participate in the Polar Plunge on February 20th to help out with Special Olympics, talk to Miss Puckett or Mr. Perkins. And there's a Poetry Loud reading going on right now in the auditorium, so after you check out PC TV News, go and check it out. Now let's wish happy birthday to the, all those who are celebrating these next few days. Happy birthday to Stephen Goebel, Dion Jackson Griffin, Jace Ewing, Logan Greathouse, Logan Folk, Nolan Solly, and Dalton Huntley. Now it's time for the world news. Today the nominees for the Oscars will be announced. A lot of people are interested to see if Leonardo DiCaprio will be receiving an Oscar considering that he has never won. So it will be interesting to see what happens. Republican presidential candidates will come together tonight for a debate on the Fox Business Channel. Leading contenders are Ted Cruz, Marco Rubio, Ben Carson, Jeb Bush, Chris Christie, John Kasich, and of course Donald Trump. This is the last debate before the Iowa caucuses. George Clooney's wife, Emile Clooney, will be giving a series of interviews starting tonight on the Nightly News with Lester Holt and the second part on Friday's Today Show. She's a human rights activist, and George Clooney has also been known to be an advocate for human rights. USA Today is hosting a series of forums called One Nation on topics important in presidential politics. The first will be today in Des Moines, and the topic will be about energy in the U.S. SpaceX will be looking towards test-firing test the engines of the Falcon 9 rocket booster. Last year, the Falcon 9 had its first return to Earth under its own power, and today's test should be an important showing of practical use of reusing such boosters that could lead to lowering launch costs. That's all we have for you today, Pirates. Have a great three-day weekend. Thanks for watching PCTV News. And have a great day.